Dear students, this is Dr. Lourdes Allen, your Math 0022 uh, teacher. I'm going to be going over the midterm because it is extremely important that you uh, know how to do each one of these problems. We're getting closer to the end of the year. You're going to be taking your final, and it is extremely important that you know how to do each one of them. Uh, question number one says, which of the following is the absolute value of negative 7? Which of the, value, uh, the following? We know that the absolute value of negative 7 is definitely 7, which is letter B. Uh, problem number 2, it says uh, 16 uh, divided by 4 times 2 minus 2 plus 3 parentheses. So let me see how I do this. And if you look at this, uh, you, you're supposed to follow the order of operations. So let me rewrite this problem again. And this is 16 divided by 4 times 2 minus 2 plus 3. Here we have a division. Here we have a subtraction, a multiplication. This is a division. This is a subtraction. And we have a parenthesis here with an addition. So the most important thing is that we follow what we call the order of operations. So we have a division here, multiplication. I believe you know that you have to uh, do the division first because between division and multiplication, uh, they're at the same level. They go before any subtraction or addition. So let me do the 16 divided by 4 first. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. You cross it out. Multiply times 2 minus 2 plus 3. Then following, you have this multiplication, subtraction, and this parenthesis. Let me do the 4 times 2, which is 8 minus 2 plus 3 is 5. And 8 minus 5 equals 2, 3. Let me see if I have the right answer here, which is letter C. Here was letter B. Now, let me do problem number three uh, also. That it says uh, the absolute value of five. The absolute value of five. Five. Absolute value of five is right here. Divided by the absolute value of negative five. What I'm doing is changing uh, wording words in the English language to mathematical language. So the absolute value of 5, this is the way you write it. Divided by, this is the, the symbol for division. Divided by the absolute value of negative 5. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So the answer is letter D. Allow me to do two more problems in this video, two more problems. I'm going to go uh, five by five problems. And if you look at this one, let me use a separate paper so we don't get confused. It says three to the second power minus one plus five divided by three. Let me make sure that I wrote this right. Three to the second power minus one plus five divided by three. You know what? Let me do the power first. 3 to the second power is 9. And then minus in parentheses is 1 plus 5 is 6. Everything divided by 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the answer is letter C. Now let me do this problem right here. That it says that A equals to negative 1. B equals to 2. And C equals to 3. Let me double check. Because sometimes I don't see, uh, I don't see clearly. A equals to negative one, B equals to two, and C equals to three. And they want you to plug these values in the expression two a minus b plus six squared. So if it's two multiplied by a, I'm going to write down two multiplied by negative one minus b is minus two plus c to the second power is three to the second power. Let me do this, this, this first, uh, right here. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. I bring down minus 2 plus 3 to the second power is 9. So negative 2 and negative 2 is like I owe $2 and I owe $2. is negative 4 plus 9. And the difference between negative 4 and positive 9 is positive 5. So the answer for problem number 5 is letter B. Okay, I did the five um, first five problems. Then the next video is going to contain uh, items six through ten.